Hello friend, this is Rupesh and you are watching CVNet video series on C++ and this video is about stack using array. So you would have seen that in titles. So let's quickly draw a stack and okay, this is quite big, a stack. Okay, so I'll show you the code, but before that, let's quickly recap like what the stack is. So this is your stack and this is last in first out. So in parties, you go and just plates are there stacked one top of the another, right? So you'll pick the last plate first. I mean, whoever was arranging this plate, first, second, third, fourth, let's say. So fourth came last, but if you'll pick, you'll pick or remove that first. So last in, first out. So this is that data structure and push and pop or removal is always from one end. So from the top. So if you insert one, two, three and four, then if you want to pop out, you'll obviously remove four. That's what I explained. And then three and then two and then one. And there are some limitations you have to take care. That's why this video is about when you are inserting something in the stack, let's assume it is always having some fixed size. Like you cannot go more than let's say hundred. So you have this size. The moment you are inserting 101, you should say that, okay, you cannot insert any further. And let's say, obviously, if your stack is empty, in that case, you cannot remove any further. So those checking has to be in place and functioning well. So there are three major functions I have covered, push, pop, and peak. Now I'll show you the code. So, okay, cool, right? So this is good. Now we'll go to the driver function, which is this main function. I hope the fonts are good. Yeah, it might be good. Yeah. So as I told, we have 100 size and the moment we are creating the stack, we are giving this size and this is going to be the capacity of your stack. We'll take this. Let's go to the constructor. This is your constructor. We'll take the size, initialize this size with capacity. I mean, in class, you have very important data member capacity. You'll initialize that and create a dynamic array because you don't know, right? I mean, what size you can initialize to stack. So that's why a dynamic array. And then once you make this array, now it's fixed. So this is the part of stack. And yeah, top is like, yeah. So currently if something is just created, there is nothing in the stack. In that case, you'll say, okay, top is minus one, meaning there is nothing in the stack. Okay, come back. Now we are going to push one in this. Let's go to the push function. The moment you are going to push, yeah, that's what I told. You have to verify. I'm going to push. Now what you have to verify, is it already full or what? So if it is already full, then you'll say, okay, this is overflow case and you'll simply return. Don't put anything. And if it is not, then you know that it's not full. You can just simply say top plus plus, this is pre-increment, meaning it will just increment it first. And then you will initialize your content into the array. Cool, right? And is full and is empty. These two functions are like helper functions. They are not the actual main functions. I mean, you can consider them main function, no problem. So this is the logic, like you have top reaching 99, let's say in some case, and capacity was 100, 100 minus one, because this is array, so you have to compare with minus one because indexing start with zero. So 99 is equal to equal to 99, yes. Then in, in that case, it will say, okay, now we have reached at 99. This is full, you cannot insert any further. So let's suppose you are going to push at 100th place, and this was being checked, it will tell that, okay, it is overflow. In that case, it won't insert anything. And similarly, I have not given pop here. Okay, no props. But pop is like you want to remove the element. So before removing, you have to check. The stack should not be empty when you are removing, right? So if that's the case, if your stack is empty when you're going to remove something, you will say underflow. So this is the terminology used for saying that you're going to remove, but nothing is there to remove. Cool. If that's not the case, just say that, okay, top is minus minus. You don't have to remove actually anything. You just have to maintain that top variable till zero to what location your stack is actually valid. So let's say you started pushing and you went till 90 and then you started popping and you pop 10 times. You don't have to do anything with those 10 numbers. You just decrement the top and say that, okay, now I'm from zero to 79 and this is the valid stack. And there is no way user can actually jump and access those, correct? Yeah, and peak is like, I want the topmost element or I want to pick the element. So you will always get the top element and 
obviously before checking that i mean before returning the top you have to check is it empty because it's full it's okay no problem because we are not going to insert something but if it is empty then what you are returning so you have to check if it is empty then just return some number which will make sense for the user that okay there is no data in the stack if that's not the case just return and here you can give the message also and then simply just return the value at the top that's it i think we are done here thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next videos bye bye take care